perhaps a better boundary, again, I'm going to turn out we're going to reject this boundary after a few minutes of calculations, but a better boundary might be based on, and again, I don't know if Sarah and Gina did this, did you look at your original 50 numbers? That was really the, yes. that should have been the, 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 you know, we're supposed to get an educated guess, but the education part of it comes from looking at your experience. Here you've taken five numbers from a perfectly good table, you got a 4.8, et cetera. Now, Sarah, in fact, let's use your number. Do you, you happen to have this bitter assignment 11 with you? That's with the list of 50 or 200 averages. I think there are 200 averages. Oh, but that's um, number four. Well, yeah. That's number four. I'm sorry, you're right, number four. I'm looking at it. Anybody else who wants to who did it and happens to have it with them should take it out. It's better assignment four where you generate 200 numbers. Right? It's better assignment number four. You get one, two, three, four, up to 200 of these averages. Now, how many, now, do you, first you have to do a couple of things. Do you believe that the numbers that you created were coming from a good table? You think Excel, you know, Bill Gates did a good job of creating the formula that makes Excel produce random numbers. Do you think he did his, he did his job right? Or he screwed up? I would assume I did it right. No, not you. I think Bill Gates, who created the formula for, for the... Do you think Bill Gates did it right? Well, he yeah, had, he's he, making all this money. No right, one. right. You, know, you don't get to make all that money unless you're smart, right? So he made a lot of money. Okay, make, make the richest man in the world. Okay, so... Um, so, so those numbers coming out of groups of five numbers, and I get five is a small sample, but it's still a sample. Did you get a lot of them as bigger than 5.5? Like 5.6s, 5.8s, 6.2s? Anybody else who has it with them, in fact, if you have it with you, can count how many times, what I want you to count up is how many times, maybe that's why I think it's so, 200. Next year I think I'll change it to 100 or to 50 again. Go down the list, how many are bigger than 5.5, maybe 5.6, 5.8, 6.0, 6.2, 6.4, and at the same time, if you can count, Sarah, how many are lower than 3.5, 3.4, 3.2, 3.0, just go down and count up how many are in that category. So, and that's gonna be how often you would reject 8.0, and I'll explain this slowly because this is the, the hardest part of the whole thing, when in fact the 8.0 is true. Because this is the, the main concept of the whole chapter, which we'll come to in goal. We'll do it empirically and concretely if this error or anybody else counts. There should be a lot of them, so just check them one time. I only have 17 above. No way. 17? And how, well, okay. how many below? How many, how many below 3.5? 17 out of 200 is a little bit low. Because the real answer should be, you got 31. I'm going to use your numbers. Okay, 31. Down 30. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And think, how many below? Oh, it's above and below. What? That's above and below? No, that's. Above. You're supposed to have, oh. how, many, how many are bigger than 5.5 in your list? I thought you said in between that range. Is she got 31 in the middle? Yeah. Ooh, that's even worse. Okay. So you, got, <laughs> you, got, you got 100 and... 100 and oh, this is for 50 averages. 159 for 50 outside, right? Numbers. What? 169. What, what, what would you say? This is for 50 random numbers. Oh, 50? Yeah. Didn't the assignment say 200 this year? No, it said 50. Okay, so saying you have 50? It's 200. Well, what? It's 200. I'm looking at... It says 200. Maybe you have last year's paper. It says, I'm looking at item number four, it says do 200. Yeah. Last year was 50, but this year I changed to 200. So this, we're doing this. It used to be done by hand, now we're doing it on Excel, so we can do 200. So you have 50? Yeah. All right, so that's right. So, so 30, 31 on the inside. So 31 on the inside, you have 11 out of, 11 out of 50, or 22%. Okay, so let's, let's, let's put that out. So 11, 11 out of 50 outside. Outside 3.5 to 5.5. So let's, let's we'll talk about that. I'm still waiting for Sarah to give her number. We'll see. Hopefully the two numbers are similar, but if not, we'll have to pick one or the other. So let me tell you the right, the right answer is this is both sides, high, Gina, higher and lower, above 3.5. 30, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not 30. 31 are in between, and 19, I'm yes. sorry, 19, that makes more sense. 19 out of 50, which is 28%, no, 38%. 
By the way, I'm giving the class an extra credit question. I, I did one the example that I did on, on there are two types of videos you'll be seeing eventually when I get this working, you know, more organized. But we already have a bunch of videos that are just videotaped. Then I have this stuff on the using a smart board. A smart board is a, it's only one of them on campus, but you basically write on the board, and whatever you write on the board gets recorded in the computer, and it can you know, records like a video, and the sound gets recorded, and etc. So. But when I did an example in chapter 7, I forget what it might be, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6, which was an example which we did in class, I think, x bar between 7.8 and 8.2. When I did it, I made a small careless mistake at the very end. So if you see the tape, you notice my, my careless mistake. It's a very small, obvious mistake. Uh, bring it to my attention, I'll give you some extra credit. To, just for fun. Okay. I got so, 29 lower. 29 lower, how many higher? So I got 29 lower. 29 lower, and how many higher? Um, 17. 17. So 17 to 29 is, 46. what is it? 46. 46 out of 200, which is 23%, which is not that far from, well, it is pretty far. It's almost half as 28%. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll do the, you know, this is, you know, doing it by counting gives you a rough idea what the answer is. We have more people doing it, we have a better idea what the real answer is. I think uh, Gina's group's answer is closest. So we'll go with those numbers for right now. Okay. So the point is, so let's, so let's assume we use Sarah's or whoever chose these numbers boundary. The question is, will it give you the, the, the way we're going to decide if a boundary is a good boundary is very commonsensical. If it gives you the right answer most of the time, it's a good boundary. If it gives you the wrong answer a lot of the time, it's a bad boundary. It's a very pragmatic and very logical thing to do. So the question is the following. If you actually were trying to determine if a, if a brand new random number table is a good table or a bad table by using this methodology, of taking simply five numbers and checking to see if the average is in between 3.5 and 5.5, the question is how often would you get the right answer? Or let's focus on the negative, how often would you get the wrong answer? Well, according to Gina's experience at least, she, she took numbers from a perfectly good table and she found that 19 out of 50 times it was outside the boundary. She would have to say if she had like 50 different textbooks in front of her and each one had a different random number table. From each table she picked one group of five numbers and got one average. She would say good table, good table, bad table, bad table, good table, bad table. She'd say 19 out of 50 times or 38% of the time she would say it's a bad table. Well, we started off by assuming all 50 books were perfectly good, good, good random number tables. So making a mistake 38% of the time is not a very good situation to be in. So the question is, how can you improve it? So, so again, let's, so let's put now before I talk about how to improve it, let's try to use, let's try to get the terminology straight. So, and I'm, again, with all due respect, Gina's group, Gina's numbers, uh, or Sarah's boundary, found that she rejected a zero when the a zero is totally true. I mean, this vertical line means given or assuming or supposing that the a zero really is true. This, this, how often would you make this? This is a mistake. It's called a type one error this mistake of rejecting it when it's really true. And you're saying it's bad when it's really, really good. Type 1 error. This is the mistake. Say the table is bad or decide that it's bad. Say table bad. Believe that. Table bad. When, it's, when the table is really good. You, again, why are you saying it bad? Because you happen to pick an average of like like, like 5.8 or 6.2, which is outside the boundary that we chose for ourselves. If you make that kind of a mistake, if you say the table is bad when it's really good, you, that mistake we call type 1 error. So the only question, we, we're bound, no matter, what, no matter what boundaries we make, we're going to make a type 1 error on occasion. The question is how often we're going to make it, so we calculate the probability of making a type 1 error. The probability of a type 1 error is called alpha, first Greek letter, it's also called the significance level sometimes. Because the book will say, do the example using a significance level of 5%. That means you want to make a type 1 error of 5%. And it's also called uh, the size of the rejection region. We'll see that in a second. Why it's called the size of the rejection region. So before we calculate it a little more uh, sophisticated way, unless we can do it a very similar way. We can do it a very simple down to earth heuristic way. How often in one group's experience or the other group's experience will you end up saying the table is bad when it's really a good table? So we're assuming all these numbers come from a good table, because we're assuming they come from you know, we have to make that assumption if we're gonna make sense out of this. And we have to give you know, it's only realistic to say the table is a good table. We don't really believe that it's bad, even though there are some bad tables out there. Um, 
but I actually checked our table, and our table really is a, and 